What's going on, ugly niggas? You know, got a rap. Watch Hakeem the Dream. Niggas was sleeping on Hakeem. Bro, someone gonna tell me Jokic is more skilled than Hakeem. So, you know, I gotta watch Hakeem. I'm Bobby Flay, and tonight we're cooking burgers. Probably the best footwork ever. This is Ranch Night with Hidden Valley. Good shit, y'all tell me who y'all think better, Anything, Jokic you can or Hakeem. Step right here. It's over. So, the Anna King work. Man, we're faster than Jokic at that age. The spin moves. So now, when I jump, you're waiting for me to come down, right? But when, as soon as you go down, shoo! Uh, he's waiting for you to come down. I, I know you're a short blocker, right? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm separating from you. You, you got me now, for example, right? I'm going to. Come on, bro. Against Robinson. And finally he scores. That was once the premier it's less than the team had a, the probably the best post work. Elijah on double team but hits anyway. And out. Meanwhile, as the Rockets bring it down, just watch Pippen. He's just standing. Yeah. Elijah on hits that. Elijah on ties it. Gets the call over Baloney. Elijah on. And George is able to use his bench and put a little bit more pressure on the force. Oh, that was. Hey, just get the rebound. Bro, kick come it. on, you gotta be better than that. Kick it out and don't run the floor every time. But they're gonna try to wear him down. But the ball, ball to try to make too much out of the play instead of holding on. Oh, the spin. As Akeem Olajuwon catching two feet in the paint, Scotty Pippen had his head turned, not even ready to help. Oh. Yeah, that's true, that's true. You guys, before this video starts, I want to tell you about the sick website that sells Find how good I can was. Put on Dennis Rodman and Allen Iverson, and those will be linked below so you can check those out after the new content. We are releasing daily videos, so make sure you don't miss out. And with that being said, let's get into NBA Legends explain how good Hakeem Olajuwon was. Action right side of the move, swings it outside to Curitan, into Jordan, Michael in deep, scoop pass, tipped out of bounds by Houston, the Bulls get the ball with 13 to shoot. Maxson turning in the dribble, in from the left side, kicks to Jordan in the left corner. Michael in the move against McCray, in from the left, lays it high, blocked inside, Olajuwon, no good! It was weird, picking it up. Legacy of that shield is complicated. Pax works into the left corner. Jordan has it left in the circle. Michael in for the left side. Lays it up. Block. No goal. That came Olajuwon. I got no chance of losing. None at all. Olajuwon. He was in the top ten. I got no. To the left side. Lays it up. Block. No goal. That came Olajuwon. I got no chance of losing. None at all. Olajuwon, he was in the top 10 in five categories, steals, rebounds, block shots, scoring, and shooting percentage. You know what I mean? To have a big guy of his size to be in the top 10 in steals, now you can assume that he would be in blocks, which to me shows the versatility of what type of guy he really was. I'm sure he's your favorite, the dream. Yeah, the dream was my favorite because Personal reason. The Shaq don't even look like Shaq, bro. He look like goddamn Kanye West, bro. What the fuck? That I couldn't break. But makeup on this you know, nigga. Uh, all, all, all the other great well, centers. Shaq couldn't break Hakeem. Give him to the heads a little bit. Come on, bro. Shaq would have destroyed Jokic. Couldn't break Hakeem. You know every every young guy that you comes know who up. You are. This video you know, always you, put it in. Always put it in basic karate movie Hakeem format. The goat. You know, you got the old guy in the white beard, which is me now. You got the old guy in the white beard. Shaq Fu. Yeah, Shaq Fu. But then you got the young guy that's coming up. So in order for you to be the master, you have to beat the master. So, I mean, I always knew these Patrick Ewan and Akeem and, and Chief. I always knew these guys were 100 times better than me. But I didn't want them to know that. And then I wanted their spot. So, you know, I wanted their spot. So the five best things, I'm, I'm glad you, you had, I had to write them down. Akeem to me is is number one. But why couldn't you no, break say, it? Boy. 
because I couldn't get into his head. I remember one time I gave him a bow and he just laughed. <laughs> nice, nice, nice elbow, brother. And then he came out and gave me <laughs> and, and shot a crazy Dream fadeaway. Shot. Yeah, he gave me one of them. So the next time I, I, I came out, I dunked on him and I looked at him in. Like, okay, good one. And he just came out, you shoot. And he gave it to me again. So he was, he was my favorite. When we were watching that video coming into the segment, when they show that dream shake against David Robinson, mm. which is the one that, I mean, you guys, everybody's shaking their head and everybody goes, woo, and I mean, Ooh, bro, what come you, on, bro. The one that, that is skilled right there, bro. Oh my God. I get that move from Hakeem. Look at this. That's really my signature. Guys, I'm about to post up. That's right. You think you're going up? Oh my God. Jokic, who ain't he moving like a guard, bro? I mean, mm -hmm. which is like the one that guard, I mean, you guys, everybody's shaking their head and everybody goes, oh I mean, what do you, when you see a big man head. with those, with those kind of moves and that fluid. Bro, come on, best footwork. I think about two things. I think, one, the fact that he made that move because you thought he was going to do the jump hook. Because he can hit you with the basic move. He has basic moves. So you have to be really good, basically, first to add everything else. And then hey, when he hits I you gotta with the react left shoulder to Penny right now, turn, you hey, know. That action, bro. Yeah, that gotta be reacting to Penny Hardaway. Legend, legend. We, uh, the playoffs, uh, fresh uh, rookie year, you know, you get a book of what type of moves every guy like. He go 40% over shoulder. Hakeem, it was nothing, but on this side, he may go left, he may go right. And he was the only guy ever in the NBA that was my height and a center that you had to move your feet when he in front of you. Akeem, Akeem just didn't have that, that uh, cro the, the um, shake on the baseline. He would get you at the free throw line, give you a little stutter step dribble, and you wouldn't know what to do as a big guy. You look in the guards, you know, for help, and Akeem wasn't that Bro, big. Come on, That's that don't look like a You wouldn't know what to do as a big guy. You look in the guards, you know, for help, and Akeem wasn't that big. That's all, when I saw him, I was like, okay, he's not that big. And to be, every time he's blocking shots, elbow over the rim or the jump shots, his game to me was just, elbow. it was just so versatile. Yeah, it's funny, you talk about elbows to the rim and that big. He, he said to me one time, he's like, Kenny, I'm really sorry. I'm like, why are you sorry? He said, because sometimes you set out practice and you say you have this thing called tendonitis. I'm like, yeah, you know. He said, I have it. It feels like a headache in your knee. This was 14 <laughs> years <laughs> into, into the, he had never had tendonitis. Right, right. He never knew what that was. <laughs> so I'm like, right. so yeah, I said, dream, my name, I got, I got migraines. So, <laughs> right. you know, as, as a guard, that was the first big man that I started asking Tate for, because I wanted to see his footwork. I mean, one thing, Kenny, I could say, watching him in a layup line, him handling the basketball, he has spin moves. So I'm thinking, you know, big guys, yeah. where does he get this from? But then also talking to Jim Boylan, who was the kind of assistant coach was doing video for y'all. I was always asking, he said the biggest thing about Akeem was his counters. Play, you know, everything a defensive had was his counter. So for me, trying to post up, I'm trying to learn all the counters. Unbelievable, phenomenal to try to pattern your foot, footwork as Akeem. I couldn't do it because this, this is a guy. That the footwork, it seemed like it was just fluid. It was something off a of field versus everybody trying to break it down. Look, I agree with everyone here on the panel. I would go with Hakeem Olajuwon out of the two. Houston. Toughest matchup for you during your NBA career? Hakeem Olajuwon. Talk up, just so athletic. Athletic, quick, a dream shape. And you got to make the adjustment, but he is a rookie. Look how many legends ain't Hakeem, bro. Then you going to say Jokic more skilled than Hakeem, bro. What the fuck? Explain to Yo, folks who might not, good last again, season. be some of the young folks, what made Dream so special? So, first of all, do everybody know who Hakeem Olajuwon is? You know, this guy's footwork was some of the most amazing footwork you ever see. But his tenacity in the gym, I mean, like, you think he was mad during the game. He was even madder during practice if the guys wasn't practicing hard or he felt like we weren't putting, up, putting forth the maximum effort. And that's what you want out of guys. You just want to come to practice and play hard because if you go really, really hard in practice, sometimes it's easier in the game because Someone in practice, you don't have timeouts. In the game, you have timeouts, you have TV timeouts, but it goes to show you how great this guy was. I, I, you know, Hakeem Olajuwon is Muslim. And so during Ramadan, he's not allowed to drink or eat anything. Yeah. So we had a noon game. And so you can't eat or drink anything through, through, uh, until sundown. This guy still puts up 40 points, doesn't drink any water, doesn't have a meal before the game to get himself right. That lets you know how amazing this is. And if you 
Ask Michael Jordan what one guy he ever feared. It was Akeem Olajuwon. He, he used to call and say, I'm scared of the big African because he's from Nigeria. That's what he used to say because, you know, and the people out who are Chicago Bulls fans, I know this question comes up a lot. They always Man, wonder like those Danny two championships Granger. we won in Houston. We would have won them with Michael Jordan would have been playing. The answer to that question is yes, because they couldn't stop Olajuwon. We might not be able to stop Jordan, but they couldn't stop Olajuwon. We did have a guy that could kind of slow Jordan down and Vernon Maxwell. So before that question ever pops up, yes, we'd have won two <laughs> championships if Jordan would have played. Okay, okay. Once again for Olajuwon. Oh, oh, man, open, but he's playing the same side, and they get the same effect. Oh, and that's my exactly God. what happened. Olajuwon with the hip fake. What a move by Akeem Olajuwon. Ain't not fucking with you. Big Africa.